Hey, I got what you need. What's up, everyone? It's your man, Hambone, and welcome to Hambone's World. All right, so today I'm going to talk about my experience and opinion on AMD's new GPU, the 9070 XT. I happen to be blessed and live close to a micro center, and I was able to get one on day one release at its MSRP price of $599. On a side note, I have to give props to Micro Center. They handled the release really well. When I got there, it was 10 minutes before the store opened, and the line was all the way wrapped around the, the store. I would say there were probably a rough estimate of four to 500 people there. And I waited in line a little bit over an hour, and I was able to get one. So I was a real happy camper. So the card I purchased was the um, XFX Swift, and this is a reference design card. So it comes, you know, with the boost clock of 2,970 megahertz. It comes with the 16 gigabytes of DDR6 RAM. It has um, 4,096 4, 4, stream processors and 64 compute units, and it uh, has a 256 bus. And uh, it also has three 2.1 uh, display ports and one 2.1 HDMI port. So about two months ago, I wanted to upgrade my streaming slash editing slash um, gaming rig. This is the main computer that I use most of the time. It has, it, it's, it has a 4060. And uh, the other components in it, I have 64 gigabytes of DDR5 uh, RAM overclocked to 6,000 gigahertz. And it has an um, Intel i9-2900K. So it's a pretty beefy system. The graphics card is not so much. I, I ended up purchasing the NVIDIA card more so to the fact that I, I wanted an, uh, a card with the capability to encode AV1. And the NVEC encoder is really good especially for streaming, which is what I use what I use that PC for a lot. And I was able to purchase the 4060 as an, an open box special for $210, which was actually a pretty good deal. Uh, but the problem with the 4060, it's its VRAM um, limited. And I have two uh, monitors hooked up to it. One is an ultra wide OLED that does 240 hertz. And then I have a 4K 144 hertz monitor and you know the 4060 really couldn't push those uh, resolution at, at those uh, high frame rates. Excuse me, at, at those resolutions. My other rig that I it's a gaming and editing rig. I don't really stream on it. It's got a 4090, um, but I definitely wanted to upgrade the GPU on my my main system. I was considering upgrading to a 5070 Ti, but as you all know with the scarcity of NVIDIA GPUs and the crazy prices, I just wasn't willing to pay, um, you know, over a grand for a 5070 Ti. Uh, and then I heard, you know, that AMD was coming out with their new GPUs and the, the leaks sounded very impressive. So I went ahead and, and I bit the bullet and I purchased one and, uh, it's 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 a it's a really good GPU. It definitely punches above its weight. Um, several things that they improved are obviously the ray tracing technology. Uh, this card is vastly superior to the previous generations in terms of ray tracing. It's definitely not on par yet with Nvidia, but it's getting there. Uh, the other thing is the upscaling FSR four is really 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 good. I would say it's a little better than DLSS 3. Not as good as DLSS 4, but it's it's close. And uh, I'm really looking forward to when more games start to implement it. I was able to use Opti OptiScaler, I think that's what it's called, and inject FSR 4 into Cyberpunk, which doesn't support it. And I was able to get that game to run at 4K maxed out, including path tracing with DLSS 4, quality preset and I was getting around 60 uh, frames a second and that's impressive on an AMD card. The other thing that I was really impressed with and when I was looking into buying the AMD, the 9070 XT, was the uh, encoding, uh, the encoders. AMD has never, excuse me, 
never been really that great when it comes to their encoders. And I was a little concerned due to the fact that I use this uh, system for a lot of editing and, and, and um, streaming. But I will say that the HVAC encoder in this is really, really good. It's, uh, I'm very, very impressed and happy with it. I don't feel like I'm downgrading from NVIDIA's NVEC encoder. And um, it's really good at low bit rates, especially like Twitch bit rates, which are like six to 8,000 K bits a second. So I'm, I'm very, very happy uh, with, with, with the card's performance. Um, so the card, it uh, runs really cool. I would say between 63 to 67 Celsius. Um, I have messed with some uh, overclocking or so, shall we say undervolting. I haven't really tried to take it to its max yet, but I did, I did a little bit of undervolting and I was able to get it to boost like around 3,100 megahertz, which I was impressed. Um, and it gave me like a 6% um, raise in my performance and my FPS, which was nice. I mean, Hey, it's free. So I did some benchmarks, which I'm going to, uh, some, some benchmarks, which I'm going to show you guys. It's basically gameplay footage. And then I have, uh, RTTS, um, just running in the corner showing you like the, the temperatures and the frame rates and the utilization of the GPU and CPU. But, uh, before I do, I just wanted to let you know what I did was I ran every game at 4K native. I didn't use any upscaling and I run it, ran it at max settings. I just wanted to kind of convey to you guys like just the pure processing power of this GPU. And while some games didn't run at 60 frames or higher, um, you can turn on FSR. Even FSR 3 at 4K in quality mode looks pretty good. But uh, once FSR 4 starts to get implemented into a lot of games, you definitely can turn that on and you can use the quality mode and you'll be able to get uh, 4K 60 frames, <clears throat> everything maxed out, which is really, really impressive. All right, so enough of that. Let's get on to the benchmarks. what happens in his blood. The macula keeps evolving, pushing the carrier through different thresholds. Will this Manchester Bowdown really help? The Order has been studying the macula for centuries. If they can't, 
I don't know who can. Lord, protect him. Let's hope he tells us. He will. Nobody noticed their disappearance. Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. Here, another symbol. Well, let's get in then. You think the symbols will lead to him? Yes. Look. Not a single coin. Oh. How many are there? Man. If I find him, I could ask for a reward. Thank that bastard Cal for letting you die like a dog. Damn, that's an ugly death. What? That's it. Go away. What's making so much noise? to move it.
package. Now hold it. Target down. Confirmed. Archangel is hot. Move it here. So, what did you guys think? Pretty impressive, huh? I have to say that the 9070 XT is a great card if you can get it at the MSRP of $599. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. And I'm looking forward to gaming on it more and doing some more productivity work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if, if you did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit that bell notification and be notified when I release more videos. Till next time, guys, take care. Peace. Hey, I got what you need.